You won't forget me, will you? Promise you won't. Somewhere over the rainbow. Judy is directed by Rupert Gould and is starring Renee Zellweger, Jesse Buckley, Finn Whitrock, Rufus Sewell, and Michael Gambon. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This film is an adaptation of a stage play called End of the Rainbow, which chronicles the last several months in the life of one Judy Garland. And this film captures specifically her time doing shows in London, England, but we also get a look at all of the trials and tribulations that chronicled her entire life up until this moment. This is a film that has gotten so much positive hype over the last several months when it has premiered at several film festivals and just getting a general buzz when it comes to the movie viewing community and specifically all of that buzz was centered around Renee Zellweger who is portraying Judy Garland in this film and I have to say all of that positive buzz I heard was definitely warranted. She is the reason to see this film. She is fantastic in this film. So fantastic when it comes to all of the quirks and all of the mannerisms and just the general feel of Judy Garland that you you see when you watch it, a lot of old videos of her around this time. Is it exactly like Judy Garland? No. Is it a very good homage to Judy Garland? Yes, it is. Specifically when it comes to the singing aspect, Judy Garland had a wonderful, powerful, unique voice that I'm sure many of us know and love very, very well. I know I grew up with Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. Now that I've gotten older, I've seen a lot of the other films that she has done, and she was a fantastic actress, a fantastic fantastic singer, and Renee Zellweger, I believe, is doing all of her own singing in this film in the sense that she's using her own voice and they are not using the voice of Judy Garland. And that is kind of something that is both a positive and a negative because I think it gives the character certain ownership for Renee Zellweger, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite sound like Judy Garland, but to my ears, it still sounds very good. And I really enjoyed a lot of those moments because we get to see just the pizzazz, the energy surrounding these performances I thought were really good. The film in general, I think, is a rather good film. Where it falters for me is I think it hits a lot of just the main generic biopic plot points that we've seen in so many of these biopics before. And the film kind of is just a general biopic surrounding a fantastic, outstanding performance by Renee Zellweger. A lot of the characters around her don't get much to do other than be plot devices. They don't get much build up when it comes to the relationship that I think Judy Garland has with these people, specifically when it comes to her ex-husband, when it comes to her new husband in this film. The, all of the information in this film is not revelatory, I believe, in any way. So unfortunately, it's not a good film when it comes to just providing us information or new insights on Judy Garland's life. We all know that she had a very troubled life, seemingly from when she was a young child star, going through all kinds of abuses when it came to the studio system and just the way she was handled. Those scenes were really good and really giving us an insight into what that life was like and to what that life is kind of like now as well. There are a lot of young stars that are rising up when it comes to the music industry or movie industry or whatever, and a lot of abuses are taken with them because people want to maximize them for profit. They're just looking at them as, you know, profit-making machines and money-making machines and not looking at them as human beings that need to have proper nutrition, that need to have a proper sleep cycle, and need to live a normal life because children are need to have some type of structure in their life and when that structure is taken away there's a lot of psychological problems that arise and a lot of physical problems that arise because of that and this film chronicled a lot of those things that happened to Judy Garland as a result of that and that was when the film was really powerful and I think when the film really hit its stride. So with all that being said I'm going to give this film a 3.8 out of 5 stars. A fantastic performance by Renee Zellweger. Don't be surprised when it comes award season you see her get nominated for certain awards. I'm not going to make a prediction saying that she definitely will because you really never know, but she is fantastic in this movie. The music I think is fantastic. The story I think is really good. The direction I think is okay. The film is kind of generic when it comes to just certain biopic type things. And I really wish the other relationships in this film were better strengthened when it came to screenplay things. So I do recommend this film if you are fans of Judy Garland, if you are fans of Renee Zellweger. This has been my review of Judy. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.